Well, what's up guys, it's the Hunter Project here, welcome to my channel where you'll find monster hunter news, builds, playthroughs and everything in between. Be sure to smash the like subscribe buttons if you do enjoy, it would be extremely appreciated as I am trying to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of February before the month of rise, so if everyone watching could hit that red button and hit the notification bell as well while you're at it, I would be extremely grateful. So today we got some monster hunter footage on the longsword and lance as well as a new monster confirmation which is awesome. Starting off with the lance clip, it seems to once again be expanding the world moveset and looks extremely fun and epic. They have made many combos be able to make use of the wire bug, like when the player wire bugs towards the monsters like above the head and then drops into a uh, lance charge which is pretty awesome. And there also seems to be a type of offensive guard like implemented into the combos that acts as like a counter attack as well, so that is awesome to see as well. Two of the new silk blind attacks are Twin Vine and Anchor Rage, which both look great. Twin Vine allows the hunter to basically anchor a wire bug point on the monster, which allows them to easily re-engage a monster at a long distance, where they're able to wire bug back to the point they had set initially. Next we have the Anchor Rage, which is more of an offensive attack that boosts the player's attack. I believe it also had a guard point style initialization as well when activated, which is pretty cool. Next we have the longsword which looks insane, I was absolutely mind blown when I first watched this for the first time and it made me extremely excited to try and learn longsword to an extremely high level as I usually never use it. Once again we get the full world moveset including the special sheath that was added in Iceborne which is awesome and it seems to have a new after image attack animation as well which looks extremely cool. Our first silk bind attack is Soarin' Kick, where the hunter wirebugs to the monster's head, kicking it, and then it's followed by a downward direct stab, which looks pretty cool. It doesn't seem too like out there of an attack, it's not too crazy looking or anything compared to the other combos that we have, but I do believe this is more of a monster stunner, and it may or may not have like an increase in part damage maybe, I don't know, that's just me guessing, because I'm sure there's probably a little bit more to it, rather than just like a, a clutch claw weaken looking animation. The other attack that we got was Serene Attack, which looks fantastic and it's basically a timed counter attack which looks extremely cool. They definitely seem to be taking a lot of inspiration from the Hunter Arts from Generations and in implementing them into this game which is extremely nice to see. Finally guys, we have our new monster confirmation, Puke Puke. Really glad to see this monster make a return as it is a new world monster and many players did not have a chance to play world as Monster Hunter World was a uh, console game slash PC game and well it was a home console game and a lot of players especially in like Japan they are more uh, portable console users and I'm sure there's a lot of people in the West as well who also just have a 3DS or just had a uh, Nintendo Switch and weren't able to get a chance to play world so it's nice to see that they're shifting across a lot of the world's experience into Rise. And also, just a little side note, the model looks extremely good as well, and the attack and animations look really well done, so really pleased to see that. This does bring us to the end of the video guys, if you did enjoy, make sure you do smash the like subscribe buttons if you haven't already, as we make our way to 1000 subscribers. Let me know down below what you thought of these clips, and thank you so much for watching, make sure you uh, join the discord down in the description if you want to join our little community, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.